here is the cool question to test your analytical skills. You're presented with the sequence of squares. In each square box has triangles. First box has two triangles. Second box has four. Next one has six. One after that has ten. And you need to determine number of triangles you should put in the box with the question mark. You have four different choices. Choice A, ten. Choice B, twelve. Choice C, 14, and then choice D, 16. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video and look at these pictures closely. I am pretty sure you figured it out, but just in case, I am moving forward to share with you the final solution. As you might have guessed, to get to the correct answer, you need to look for patterns. And there are two patterns we see here on this picture. The first pattern is that each box contains triangles that are incrementally increasing. Pattern 2 shows you how to calculate triangles. And to calculate triangles in the next box, the triangles in the previous two boxes should be summed up. For example, the actual calculations start with the square 3. And to get to the number of triangles in square 3, you need to add 2 triangles plus 4 triangles, which equals to 6. Based on this logic, to calculate number of triangles in the last box, you need to add 6 plus 10, which would be equal 16 triangles. So the correct answer here is choice D, 16 triangles. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an extremely tricky question, but I have full confidence that you'll be able to solve it. You are presented with the sequence of circles, which is also organized in a circle. Sequence starts with the red circle with the number 56 inside. Next circle has number 114. Following it, circle with the number 232. Then circle with the number 470. Then circle with the number 948. Then follows the circle with the number 1906. And then comes the circle with the missing number. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. What's interesting about this problem is that all circles have different colors, and some circles have the same size, and other circles have different sizes. But regardless, you need to select one of the following four choices. Choice A, 3812. Choice B, 3824. Choice C, 3820. And then choice D, 3800. As I mentioned, this is a tricky problem, but regardless, I'm moving forward to reveal the final solution to you. And as usual, what I'm sharing is just my version of the solution, so feel free to share yours in comments. You might be tired of hearing me saying it all the time, but pattern is the key to solve this challenge. And different shape sizes and colors are introduced on the objects here in the picture just to confuse you. So let's look at the pattern. The pattern here is previous number plus the sequence number multiplied by 2. And you have to add previous number to the sequence before doing multiplication. So let's look at the simple calculations. The first number in the sequence is number 56. If we add 1 to 56, which is the sequence number, then multiplied by 2, 57 multiplied by 2 is 114. Let's do the same thing to number 114. 114 plus 2 multiplied by 2 equals 116 multiplied by 2, which is 232. So our final number, 1906 plus 6, which is the sequence number, multiplied by 2 equals 1912 multiplied by 2, which equals 3824. If you liked my version of the solution, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I love this amazing question because it tests you on out-of-the-box thinking. You need to rearrange the glasses with water by only touching one glass. And you need to get from configuration 1 on the top to bottom configuration by only touching one glass. Take a close look to see how you can do it. I'm pretty sure you figured it out, but just in case, I am moving forward to share the solution with you. As I mentioned, you need to think out of the box. And the solution is to take the second glass from the left 
and pour the water into the second from the end empty glass container. Typical thinking to solve this problem is just to move the glasses. But out of the box thinking is pour the water from one glass to another. Here's a wonderful question to test your analytical skills. You're presented with the series of shapes in the boxes. The first box has the arrow pointing left. Second box has triangle pointing left. Third box has a square. And then comes the box with the missing shape. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C, and D. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better ideas on how to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. You're probably tired of hearing it on this channel, but the key to solve these types of challenges is to find the pattern. And the pattern here is that the sides of the shape are increasing by one in each sequence. So for example, if you look at the first shape, it has two sides, and the number continuously increases to three and four sides respectively, which means that the missing shape should have the five sides. And only shape B has five sides. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You're presented with simple expression and you need to calculate the value of this expression. You have four different choices. Choice A, one. Choice B, three. Choice C, seven. And then choice D, nine. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can calculate the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you the correct answer. As you might have guessed, the correct answer here is choice A, one. But why? If you look at the expression closely, you will see that the first part that would need to be calculated is the division, dividing three by one third. To emphasize this, I put this expression into red parentheses. When you calculate three divided by one third, you will get to the result of nine. And then you need to do sequentially subtraction and then addition. Nine minus nine equals zero, plus one equals one. This is the reason the correct choice here is choice A, 1. And then one last important reminder is that the sequence is determined based on the acronym PEMDAS. The sequence is driven by parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Hopefully you refreshed your memory from middle school and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's one of my favorite questions where you need to count number of squares presented in the shape. You have four different choices. Choice A, 8. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 15 squares. And choice D, 18 squares. Take a close look at the picture to see if you can come up with the right choice. Nobody is going to give you a tip during the real test, but I am going to give you a hint. Look at the squares inside the squares. Ready or not, I am moving forward to get you to the correct solution. Believe it or not, I counted 15 squares in this picture. Let me show them all to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Did you get to a different number? Please correct me and post your solution in the comment section of this video. Here's an amazing question to determine your pattern recognition skills. You're presented with five boxes. Boxes 1, 2, 3, and 5 have smaller shapes inside. And you need to select box number 4 out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can get to the correct solution. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can get to the correct answer. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the pattern and show you how to calculate the correct solution. As you might have guessed, the position of the small shapes inside the large box is not as important, but the presence of the shapes is very important. And there are three variables for the pattern that we see here. 
there are always two squares in the frame, there are always two circles in the frame, and there is always one triangle in the frame. So the correct answer here is choice D. If you have doubts, please go and review the original question to make sure that we've got the correct solution. I love this question because it seems very simple, but the answer is extremely surprising. You need to determine how many rectangles are present in the shape. And you have four different choices. Choice A, seven rectangles. Choice B, eight rectangles. Choice C, nine rectangles. And then choice D, 10 rectangles. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. And I'm going to move forward and share with you my solution. But as usual, in case you see a different answer, please make sure to correct me in comments. Hard to believe, but I counted nine rectangles here in this shape. Let me show them all to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you see any other answer? Please make sure to post in comments. Here's an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You need to determine which item comes next. And you're presented with the series of five rectangles and the sixth rectangle is missing. You need to select one of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the answer. Make sure to give yourself enough time, if necessary pause this video to see if you can get to the correct solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to reveal you the final answer. And obviously the final answer is just the result of my analysis. If you have a better way of solving it, please make sure to post in comments. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you need to know that you need to always look for patterns. And there are three different patterns here in this problem. Let's look at all three. The first pattern is that squares filled with color move diagonally from the top left corner to the middle and then to the bottom right corner. Then they return back. The second pattern is that unshaded, transparent square appears in the middle of every third shape in the sequence. And then the third pattern is that triangle appears in the middle right section with every alternative shape. This is why the correct choice here is the rectangle with the black square as well as unshaded transparent square inside the middle but without the triangle. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Let's look at the question where you need to come up with the logical conclusion. Oxygen is a gas. This tank contains gas. Conclusion that was drawn based on these two statements is that this tank contains oxygen. You need to determine if this conclusion is correct and your choices are choice A true, choice B most likely true, choice C false and choice D cannot determine. Do you see the answer? Question is definitely worded very tricky but the answer is very obvious. Let's look into details. Obviously, there are many different types of gases. For example, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and a lot of others. Oxygen is just one of many gases, which is clearly indicated in the statement one. And tank contains a gas, which could be one of many gases, which is shown in the statement two. Based on this, there is not enough information to determine what type of gas is stored in the tank. So the correct choice here is choice D, cannot determine. Did you come up with the same conclusion? Please share your thoughts in comments. Here is the famous four triangle question you regularly observe in the test. You need to calculate the missing number, which is represented by the question mark. And you are presented with four different triangles. Each triangle is of a different color. The first bottom left corner blue triangle has numbers in the corners 2, 2 and 6. The green triangle next to it in the upper right corner has numbers 4, 3 and 1. The purple triangle in the bottom left corner has numbers 3, 5 and 2. 
And then the last triangle, black triangle, has numbers 0, 1, and then in the upper corner, there is a missing number, which you need to calculate based on the four different choices. Choice A, 0. Choice B, 1. Choice C, 2. And choice D, 3. Do you see the answer? Let me give you a hint. There is a true calculation and not guessing behind determining what the number is. <laughs> Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the solution to you. As I mentioned, the trick about this problem is that the number can be calculated. And the key to calculate it is to determine the pattern. And then the pattern here is that the numbers in the corresponding corners of the triangles all add up to 10. Let's do the math and start with the bottom left corner. 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 10. Let's go to the bottom right corner of the triangle. 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0 is also 10. And now, in the same way, let's do the math and calculate the missing number. 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus question mark equals 10. Based on these calculations, question mark equals 1. So the correct choice here is choice B, 1. Keep in mind that sometimes in these types of problems, triangles are colored. And the only reason this is done is to confuse you, to look for the patterns inside the triangles itself. I truly hope that you've nailed this question on your own or learned how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Thanks for all your endorsement, support and patronage. For additional helpful information, please make sure to check out links in the description. For detailed list of available resources, I encourage you to check out resources page on our website howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please consider sharing the link. Please leave the feedback, corrections or suggestions in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.